Here's all the essential apps that are on my Google Pixel 8 Pro. Well, currently right now, there are no apps because I'm unboxing it right now. So I suppose a better title might have been, here are some essential apps that are going to be on my phone. But since by the end of this video, they will be on the phone, the title still suffices. Anyways, this video is to break down what apps I find essential for the Google Pixel Pro. The Google Pixel Pro. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the pep of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? The Google Pixel 8 Pro. This is dope. I was thinking I was going to have to download each app one by one, but it looks like there's a function to make this transfer go through pretty seamlessly. And the good thing is you can actually choose which apps, which pictures, which services that you want to transfer over. It's not just a one and done thing. I mean, first and foremost, we got to talk about Google Voice. A lot of you might be upset with what I'm about to say, but if you have my number, you probably have my Google Voice number. I don't even know my phone's actual phone number because I don't use it. I don't like doing that song and dance of like, oh my gosh, if I swap carriers or swap phones, can I keep the same number? The way I do it with Google Voice, I can just continue as is. Of course, we gotta have Facebook, the regular social medias, we gotta have WhatsApp, you know what I'm saying? We got encrypted messaging. You feel what I'm saying? For you iPhone users who feel unsafe, even though I'm going to be honest, if you have a smartphone in your hands, the government already knows where you're at. You already got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but moving right along, we have Amazon shopping because, you know, I just moved into a house. You can click the link that's going to be in the description so you can give me something for my housewarming. You feel what I'm saying? I got some apps that it's not necessary for everybody, but for me, it is like Apollo lighting and uh, another one, the cool LED, which is what I use to control these lights, as well as this LED LED panel over here. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, the camera connect app, which is something I use with my Canon camera. So that way I can control them remotely and review pictures. And I can do some cool things that like if I'm an event, I'm taking some pictures and I can send them directly to someone's phone immediately so they can kind of see what we're working on. And it's just like a pretty cool feature. Of course, I got to have the cash apps, the chimes and all of those things. Those things are going to be used, obviously, to collect and to send money. We got to have CapCut on there, um, you know, just for some. I wouldn't say I even like using it for like quick edits. I, I honestly got the app because when people send those like look at me in 1930s, the AI type stuff, the only way you can use them on like TikTok is if you download CapCut and use that feature. That's literally the only reason why I have it. I don't know how much longer I'll have it for, but I, I, I know there's apps for everything, but I prefer editing the old fashioned way, pulling up Premiere and getting to work. I will say that Adobe does have their version of like, canva which is their adobe express which you should check out because there's a lot of features there that you can do online without having to download the software but moving right along you know what i'm saying we got discord we got the doordash because you know sometimes you be hungry and you gotta eat you feel what i'm saying we got ewa we've got some other language learning programs i know you saw bushu uh because i need to brush up on my languages i unfortunately even though english is not my first language it might as well be now because i speak english pretty proficiently and then my secondary and third languages i'm a little rusty but yeah, we have some apps that help me test games that uh, developers will send me. We've got not too many games on my phone. Sorry, kids. But we do have taboo and like uh, IRL stream and parties type games where I could play with people that pull up. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, digital versions. We got to have Twitch. Again, Uber Eats because of the same reason as DoorDash and Uber and Lyft just in case I need a Lyft and i mean it's pretty standard stuff i have unscripted app right here which if you're a photographer i recommend getting because like for instance me i haven't done as much photography because i've been leaning more towards video and then when i got back into photography it was just good to have some base poses ready to warm me up before i get into you feel what i'm saying 
Right, well, you know what I'm saying? Your muscle memory start picking up and you just be like, oh, pose like this or pose like this. You know what I'm saying? But uh, other than that, yeah, it's pretty basic, at least for now. Um, but I have everything I need to do what I need to do, you know? Main ones that I'm using daily is WhatsApp, Google Voice, and then the basic socials, which is YouTube, X, not Twitter. Um, what else? Instagram and TikTok. I don't like threads. As a matter of fact, I deleted it because I hate seeing thread notifications. Like literally when I see a thread notification, I'm like, oh, boy, why are people still following me on there? And, and, and shout out to the people that want to stay connected. But threads is just not the place. Upside I used to use, but I really don't have much use for it. So right now, let me just go ahead and um, get rid of that or at least pause it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just have the basic stuff, at least for now. I'm curious to know though, what's on your phone, whether you have a Google Pixel 8 Pro, another Android, an iPhone, what are some essential apps that you have to have when you get a new phone, if you get a new company, a new carrier, whatever the case may be, you know, I gotta have these apps. Go ahead and uh, write them down in the description. And while you're down there, go ahead and like, you feel me, and hit that sub button because we're trying to grow the prod family. You know what I'm saying? And you're welcome to join. Next time, I'll probably be doing a camera comparison between this phone versus a real camera. When I say real, I do mean like a, a mirrorless or DSLR camera that is like, main function is to take pictures versus a phone and just kind of check out some pros and cons of using one over the other and then i'll probably compare it to my note which is the phone that i had before which i just upgraded to just to see if it was worth making a difference in upgrade so stay tuned for that but other than that until next time ciao <laughs> I've been up since like 3 a.m. I don't hear the hate, what y'all say ain't in. All I know is go, all I know is grind. I'm on your head, so all I know is climb, just know I'm different. If I see the target, just know I'm gonna hit it. I don't know the fake, just know I live it. Anything I say, just know I'm in it. I know the ops and they lightweight. I'm in the zone and I might stay. Yeah, I'm on in the right way. Check the scoreboard, look why I play. They say sky the limit, that's too low for us. We showing up in the nosebleeds of the galaxy. When you think it's great, look, it's actually me. Yeah, it's actually me.